Hi, I'm Sam Fibel. I'm Greg Kaiser. Uh, and this is our two degree of freedom PID controller. <clears throat> so what we have here is a resistive touchscreen uh, to get data on the position of our ball. Uh, two Where's servos. The ball? Oh, the ball's right there. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> two servos, one in the X direction and one in the Y direction. Uh, these are hooked up to a PIC32 microcontroller that controls the PWM signal going to the servo and therefore the servo's uh, output, which controls the angle. Uh, we're using a PID system, a proportional integral and derivative system. Uh, actually, it's only a PD system right now, but it has the capabilities of a PID. Uh, and the goal is for the ball to be stabilized on this platform. Um, yeah, so we'll demonstrate that a little bit. That's quite nice. You can see a slight higher sensitivity in the y direction. We think that's just because of the shortened length in that direction. Uh -huh. oh, oh. I'll try it again. There is minor disturbance rejection. Um, so if you tap the ball a little bit in the x direction, you can catch it. It doesn't really have that capability in the y direction due to the limited range. Mm -hmm. There are also two modes. Uh, there is stabilization mode, which you see now. <laughs> There is also a destabilization mode uh, called rejection mode. Which does what? Throws it off as fast as possible? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I see you tried to dump it under your, under your partner's oh, lap. It's still huh? in that mode. <laughs> okay, now it should be back. Okay, one more time on that. Yep. So, yeah, I can correct for some pretty good screen. Yeah. So what percentage of the time would you say did you spend tuning this of the total project? <laughs> Half? No, maybe a quarter. No? Maybe last quarter, yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe uh, third. Mm -hmm. But tuning was definitely a significant part of this, and not just choosing P and D values. Uh, we did a lot of different experiments with filtering, uh, or not filtering, with, with averaging. Um, yeah, filtering as well, kind of constants for those. Uh, and then different specific algorithms for accounting for nonlinearities in the system. Oh, because because everything's angular. Exactly. So the, the servos are not operating. Uh, they're operating in a circle, and then they're outputting to a straight line. And so there's going to be a linear range for the servos. Uh, and so we ended up adding a little bit of like a additional factor um, to the servos when they're on their extent. <clears throat> it's pretty interesting watching the current draw over on the uh, yeah, it's power supply. Funny. Servos pull a lot when they're operating and then almost nothing when they're not. Yeah. Or when they're moving. Very cool, thank you.